Welcome back to another episode of At Home with the Lincolns. Over the past few weeks, we've been exploring some of the everyday activities that took place here in the Lincoln home. A typical activity that took place here in the sitting room would have been reading. Mr. Lincoln enjoyed to read newspapers to keep up with current events, while Mary loved to read poetry such as Shakespeare. The Lincolns had a collection of books in the home which were kept here in the back parlor, one of which we still own today, The Life of Black Hawk. This autobiography of the Sauk Warrior Black Hawk was published in 1834, a few years after the conclusion of the Black Hawk War. The Black Hawk War was a conflict between the United States and a group of Native Americans from Illinois who resisted the westward expansion into their ancestral lands. In 1804, representatives from the Sauk and Fox signed a treaty that ceded all their territory east of the Mississippi River to the United States. Even though Black Hawk had signed the treaty, he later explained he did not interpret the treaty to mean that someday he would lose his home village of Sakanak. The U.S. Army began building forts along the Mississippi River and droves of settlers were moving into the territory near his village. In 1831, they moved into Sakanak, in which at that point Black Hawk refused to leave. However, a year later, he and his people were forced to abandon their home when U.S. soldiers, led by General Edmund P. Gaines, approached the area. Conflict erupted when Black Hawk and his people returned to their now-occupied homeland, believing they had the support of other Native American groups and the British to fight the U.S. Army. Unfortunately, neither of these groups came to their support. The short conflict ended after Black Hawk surrendered in 1832, following heavy losses. Roughly a year after the conflict, Black Hawk was recorded reflecting on the outcome of the war. Now I will be reading to you a passage from his autobiography. I am now an obscure member of a nation that formally honored and respected my opinions. The path to glory is rough, and many gloomy hours obscure it. May the great spirit shed light on yours, and that you may never experience the humility that the power of the American government has reduced me to, is the wish of him who, in his native force, was once as proud and bold as yourself. From this passage, we can see that the outcome of the Black Hawk War had a significant impact on Black Hawk and his people. Lincoln himself had served in the Black Hawk War. It was his service in the war that gave him some insight into military life and also his first experience as a leader of men. Of being elected captain, Lincoln reflected years later that it gave me more pleasure than any I have had since. Why do you think Mr. Lincoln owned this book? What impact do you think reading about Black Hawk's life had on Abraham Lincoln? Let us know down below on the comments. Thanks for joining in on another episode of At Home with the Lincolns.